Hello, mining enthusiasts, and welcome aboard. Heavy mining equipment has prepared a lot of interesting and dangerous situations for you. So I suggest we start right away, of course, without music. And yes, I know, with irritating narration. This tiger cat tree cutter got stuck in the mud, typical for any logging machine. Luckily, people invented the dozer. Sticking with dozers, this Komatsu D375A8 is playing with this boulder like a kid with a glass marble. For this situation, there are two explanations. The first is that the truck driver misjudged the width of the road when passing the oncoming vehicle, or he was looking at his phone like most drivers. Anyway, he was helped by a Caterpillar 993K loader and another Cat 785C. So let's see how the rescue operation went. Great teamwork. What do you think? How heavy is this marble block? Introducing Sleipner dollies from Finland, a system that offers you and your track machine greater time savings, mobility, and efficiency. E-Series dollies are available for most excavators, ready to roll in minutes, providing your operations with an instant wield advantage. With these dollies, an excavator can achieve speeds of up to 15 kilometers per hour. And I mean real giants weighing up to 550 tons, such as the Hitachi EX 5606, Komatsu PC 5506, and Caterpillar 6040. They can be driven on up to a 15% slope and in all terrain conditions. But wait, what about electric excavators?
typical for loggers, driving machines where no bulldozer would. This four-wheeler driver thinks he can break through nearly a meter of thick mud without a load and additional weight, without tracks on the rear wheels. I really admire these people who, despite the danger and obstacles, are determined to finish what they have planned. Anyway, let's see if he will succeed. Okay, he's placing trees on the surface where the wheels are rolling, but in my opinion, the branches are too thin. Or maybe I'm wrong. Let's watch until the end. It looks like the branches didn't help him. To me, it looks like a mud skipper crawling through the mud. And he actually made it, which is not surprising considering he has already passed that road a thousand times. Man, I mean, really? If the guy in the previous clip is crazy, I think this one is a lunatic. Where did he think he was going? At least he doesn't have to worry about stopping. At first, I thought he was going down without any support, but he is actually attached with a cable and is slowly trying to go down on that steep slope. But things aren't going quite as planned. Anyway, let's see if he'll make it. And he finally made it. Like I said, loggers and loader operators may be crazy, but they're definitely full of skills. And we're watching one right now. I wonder what he's up to. <laughs> I knew it. I don't know if someone told them to do that or if they're just playing around, but either way, it looks fun to watch. This Komatsu grader most likely slipped off the road. And the more the driver tried to get out, the deeper he sank into the mud. Ah! Luckily for him, another grader came to rescue. But I don't understand how he managed to slip into a ditch on such a wide road. Ah! Yeah, he paid the price. The right tandem got stuck. It must have been a broken chain on the middle wheel or something else. Anyway, write in the comments what it could be. <laughs> the first tip of how to destroy your machine is Stick the ripper deep into the ground and rip the solid rock. Second tip, full throttle and don't pull out the ripper.
A sensational discovery happened in Argentina, where construction workers found a 90 million year old fossilized egg of the Argentinosaurus, the largest dinosaur in the world. Nice move by the operator, but I noticed something dangerous. Write in the comments what you have noticed. Ah, rain. Enemy number one in every mine. If you haven't seen what a burnout of 120,000 euros looks like, now you can. I really don't know what he wants to do or why he wanted to do it, but let's watch until the end to see if he'll get out. It looks like he couldn't get out on his own. I think he'll have to wait until spring. Oh, poor Shantui. And this guy definitely knows what he wants to do. Enjoy the rest of the clip and see you at the end of the video.
Well guys, we've come to the end of our video. If you enjoyed it, please support us with a like and subscribe to our channel for more motivation for the next video. Until next time, goodbye.